Hey everybody, this is Game Wizard, and I'm going to show you Adventure Up. I've been seeing a lot of people talk about they just got into the game, now what? So I'm going to take you through some of the intro stuff, and hopefully this will help you get a better start and start off on the right foot. So let me... As you're, what you're looking at here is I'm up in the balloon, and this is the city they've built, or the town, and everything they have to offer. And then over here is so much more potential. You can't access all this yet. Just think of everything they can do. So, so much more for this game to grow. It's only been out, it's only been free for three days. Um, so let's take you and show you what you can and can't do. So let's get into it. So we're going to run up the stairs here. And venture up, you start out with a wooden sword and a, I think a wooden shield. So, best way to do that is crafting. If you need the next weapon without wanting to go into a dungeon just yet, if you don't have anybody to carry you, it's crafting. Come over here, and you got uh, copper bars, and you need wood. So, where do you get these things? Well, come over here. Don't forget your daily reward. While we're here, let's go ahead and pick that up. I got some awesome stuff out of that. The drops in this game are amazing. So we're going to go right over here to explore. Now don't get dungeons and exploring mixed up. Explore is just for crafting. So you're going to, what you're going to do at first level, level one, you're going to go into Pleasant Valley. Let that load up. And in Pleasant Valley, it's not all that pleasant. There is your, your um, chopping down trees, mining the ore, and outrunning zombies and spiders and giant water blobs so what do you do you come up to it everybody starts off with an axe and a uh, hammer you hit f you chop down your tree and you get your stuff okay so oh, went the wrong direction the ore is over here there's only one spot in this level that i found so far by exploring is uh right over here and i think it loads in different instances for everybody so you don't worry about stealing other people's stuff if they're already on it because you don't same thing you come over here you hit f get your ore find out your pattern you keep going in circles all right that should be enough to give me my copper dagger all right we're gonna go get a tree or two and as you do in the or as you're doing these things your profession is also going up so for every time you swing that axe, every time you swing the hammer, everything's going up by levels. And these levels do pay off. Because when you get into higher level, when you get into the dungeons, there is spots where you can open treasure chests hidden on the map, but you have to have higher um, mining ability to do it. For instance, on Royal Halls, there's a spot where you have to mine, you have to be level 18 in mining to, in order to knock down the wall so you can get the secret treasure chest. So now we're going to go over to craft. Craft. Alright. Go to copper bars. You have to turn copper into copper, or your ore into bars first. Just hit this and it'll max it out. So I can craft two. We're going to craft. Wood you have to, you want to do anything with. If you got enough for, so you got to go copper dagger first so you get your level up, and then you can go copper sword. What I did to start is I did uh, several copper daggers and ran multiples with those. So then you craft, get your copper dagger. Now, the other part I'm seeing people talk about is when they open up their character screen, the sword, they keep keeping their wooden sword, but the other one is... Um, Copper one is going to the, the, the slot, but you're keeping the wooden one. Okay. You don't want whatever you don't want, open both screens. Open inventory and then open character. Wherever you want to put it, click, hold, drag it over. Okay? That easy. Or you can do so because if you just double click, it'll go to either the empty spot or the same slot. Every time. You gotta drag it over. Alright, so, there's that. Now, you have, so there's your crafting. 
If you get items you don't want, that you don't need, it'll happen. You'll start getting a lot of drops. We have a sell button. Go in here and sell what you don't want to use. I don't need a copper tagger anymore. I don't need copper bars. And I'm going to sell my samurai sleeve. So you just pick all the stuff you don't need and don't want. And then you come down. But be careful. Once it's gone, it's gone. You can't recover. And you just click sell and now you got some gold. They also have cool stuff to buy. If you want to level fast. If you want to level fast, I highly recommend large experience boost. You hold it for an hour to get a 40% increase in your experience. They do cost diamonds. It's 300 diamonds. Uh, you can buy these Robux or you can find them, earn them, mine them. Or not mine them, but find them, earn them, grind for them, I guess. I'm not sure how you get them, to be honest. Uh, I know I got most of mine through a Christmas event. But And then people, when you see these, when you see large party drop bomb or small party bomb has been dropped in chat, go find them. That's how you get all this stuff. I like to drop them a lot of times, and there's an awesome person called Green Turtle 3. He drops them a lot. Um, and there's several other players that love to drop party bombs. So, uh, then you got your cosmetics. So, these all cost diamonds. You can come in here. You can get new armor or cosmetic. Now, this does not replace your armor. This does not give you stats. This is just cosmetics. It's just here to make you look pretty. They got different weapons you can use. Uh, hairstyles, faces, colors, and titles. Okay, so there's all that stuff. Again, it does cost diamonds. Some of the titles and hair cost uh, gold. And then you got the bank. The bank will be your friend. This is your extra inventory slot. This is where you put everything that you want to save for later. I'm saving stuff for when trade opens so I can give it to all y'all. Um, don't worry that yet. So, there's all that. Just all you do when you got both the screens open, you double click, it throws it in. Double click, pull it out. And then everybody's friend. This is what you find when you get higher levels. This is the upgrade shop. This is where you come in and when you are when you get to higher dungeons, and some lower dungeons have been dropping these, if you're really, really lucky, you get gems. Gems are upgrade items that you can put in your weapons, armor accessories whatever and it'll give you the bonus it gives like this gives intellect plus four so that's awesome if you're a mage or a support class because intellect boosts your spell ability so but first i need i need to pull the gems out of this so all, and it costs gold to do upgrades And you can combine two gems, make a different level gem, and so it's just pretty that way. I'm going to remove these gems before I sell it. Make sure you remove your stuff before you sell it. And then I'm going to pop this in. And I'm going to drop in some gems of intellect. Because I like casting spells. I'm a healer. So, this will run me for a good, this will run some really good heal spells. Actually, since we're doing this, I'll combine one. Uh, one. And this one, 200 gold. Give me a level two. So we're going to drag that back in. And we're going to drop our level 2 in, which costs more gold because it's a higher ability. So, that's pretty much the basics of all this. And then make sure you equip your stuff. Flip that. Equip my book. Okay. If you do not know what your stats do, open the character screen. Hit C. And all you do is hover over the ability, and it will tell you what it does. The strength increases attack and damage. Agility is dodge and crit. Accuracy is to hit and chance to deal. I would I don't even worry about accuracy. Uh, fortitude is your defense and max health. And also, if you're a support class and you cast shield, the fortitude buffs your shield. Intellect is increased to the power of magical abilities. This is your spells as mages. This is how much you heal for. 
Um, as a healer, your healing ability is increased based on your intellect. And then you got your attack, damage, defense, dodge, your hit, and your critical power. And then if you have cosmetics, they're over here in this beautiful thing. So you hit equip what you want, weapons, and your titles. That's where your cosmetics are. Hey, there's Eagle Chief. He's also fun to play with. Um, and then down here, here's your ability screen. As you can see, a support at level 30. I've got just about all of them, except for two. But I am fixing, but you can multi class, so I'm fixing to start moving into mage and starting to build some spells so I can be a support slash ma ma magic caster. Um, or you can move into dash. A lot of people are playing physical. It just depends what you want to play. So all these matter. If you build something, you're not stuck with it. All you got to do is hit reset points. It'll take your gold. And the gold amount depends on how many abilities you have unlocked and how much you've put into it. I think when I first started, I had six abilities in or eight. You get one for you get one ability point for every level. And I reset several times in Mage till I built what I wanted. Um, if you're just starting out, they give you one ability already. I think in Mages, it was Fireball support or no everybody starts out as a mage with fireball you do not have to take that reset your points and go buy what you want to buy across the bottom row uh you cannot go up to the next row until you spend as many points as required so you got to spend five here and then 10 total out of this and then 15 total out of these and then 20 total out of these before you can move on to the next ranks really simple and then if you don't want to run all the way over to that portal all you got to do is click dungeons and you can find a match. Quick play will throw you into a match quickly. You don't have to find a party. It'll build a party for you. Uh, this is where you span, uh, change the uh, difficulty level. Her normal, you don't. You get some okay drops. Heroic, you get better drops and a chance at gems. Mythics, you get a better chance at gems and better items. And max, I haven't made it there yet, but that's where a lot of people are running their gem grinding. Uh, custom, create party. All you got to do is join somebody's party or you create your own. You should pick your level. It'll tell you what's available. And then you run it. You can do public, friends, invite, or solo. I do not recommend solo. This game was built to be played with parties. Play it with parties. Please. It makes the game so much better. It's so much. Yes, you got to deal with some, some trolls. You've got to deal with some poisonous people. But the people that are not poisonous and trolls make the game worth it. So that is this game, basically, in a nutshell. Um, the rest, I mean, you can pretty much figure out. Here's players. If you bring... Oh, here's a big one. If you bring a friend in with you, they are not guaranteed to be in the same server with you. So you go over to friends, you find their name, and you hit join. And it will load you into their server instance, and you are good to go. You are golden and ready to play. Now, what happens? You said, I don't have any friends. I don't have anybody to play with. I'll play with you. And the best way to find me and many other people like me that'll be happy to play with you is you just head on over to their Discord. This Discord is the friendliest Roblox Discord I've ever been part of. All you do is come on over, and here's their Discord. They're already welcoming you in, saying, come play with us. Um, in their Discord, this is where the streamers and content places placed. General, everybody's allowed to talk to. And looking for party. This will be your best friend. You post in here and say, hey, I'm looking for somebody to play with. And people will join you, and you can build a party and go play with them. If I'm in, and I'm playing, and I'm available, I'll play with you. So, that's this game. That's Adventure Up in a Nutshell. I hope you enjoyed the stream. I hope you had a great time and enjoyed yourself and learned something. If you didn't learn something or something else you want to know about Adventure Up, let me know. By the way, I'll give this secret out. In every map, there is two, two hidden gold chests. Every map has two hidden gold chests. If you would like to... See more about that, post in the comments, and I'll be happy to do a video showing you where they are. It'll be a quick one. All right. So I hope y'all enjoyed yourselves. Y'all have a great time. As always, hit that like button if you enjoyed yourself. Subscribe if you really enjoyed yourself. And catch me in the stream. All right. Love, peace, and donuts. I'll see y'all later. Y'all have an amazing day.